the COVID-19 pandemic hit the city of Da Nang hard in 2020. For the first time in 40 years, the city has recorded a negative growth. The city's authorities have put much effort into recovering and attracting foreign enterprises. In February, the authorities authorized seven new projects, of which three were from Foreign Direct Investment, or FDI, with a total capital of 280 million US dollars. These projects are part of the city's efforts to develop Da Nang into an innovative startup hub. Large corporations from the United States and Japan have been authorized to invest in the city. These are the result of Da Nang City's authorities' efforts to attract investment. Due to the pandemic, the authorities have connected with international investors via online platforms, which has demonstrated the potential of the city as well as the support of authorities. Due to the pandemic, the investors could not come to Vietnam, so they've authorized me to receive the investment registration certificate on their behalf. The Da Nang High Tech Park is strongly supported by authorities. The city's labor force has high potential. We're also working with Da Nang Polytechnic University to train workers. To attract more international investors, Da Nang has plans to expand its industrial zones. The Prime Minister has agreed to grant the city 59 hectares of land for the supporting industry. The city's authorities have set a goal of a 6% growth rate per year. We granted an investment registration certificate to Fujikin Company. To attract investment, we have organized online investment promotion programs with enterprises from European nations, Japan and South Korea. We have deployed two projects which involve expert zones and factory areas. All will be put into use by this March. Investors can check for quality before deciding to invest here. In addition to promoting production and business activities, Da Nang is also stepping up administrative reform to create favorable conditions for investors. All efforts aim to push the city forward, overcome difficulties and shift the economic structure towards sustainable development in the coming years.